I'm in 24R1 and I want to add this notes field into the mobile app somewhere. Now notice with 24R1, if I open a sales order, the notes field is already added. It's now by default. So if I go and update this, I can refresh my online record and my note appears. So there's nothing to do there. But if I want to go to something like the leads screen, so let's open this lead that we have, there's no note field here. So I want to take a note field here and somehow get it onto my mobile device. So to do that, I'm going to go to a customization project. I'm going to take an existing one and I'm going to go to the mobile application here. I'm going to update the existing lead screen. So here's my lead screen. To keep things going, I'm going to go to my notepad and grab the information needed to add this field. It consists of the field name, the display name I want to add to it, and the text type. Now you'll notice I get this error here that says I'm not just allowed to add a field to the screen. I actually have to go in and add this to a container. So if I, for example, add it to the lead header, it will appear up there and I probably won't be able to edit it. So let's assume I want to go add it down here to this details area. If I scroll here, I can see there's a group called details. So I'm also going to go up here and hit update. So I'm going to update the group details and I need to close that out. Okay, as I save that, notice I get another error. Uh, that's because the details needs to be part of this bigger lead summary. So let me go add that. And we'll save it and see how I do. Not so well. There we go. So now I've added it. And under the details tab, you should see that uh, the system has added the note text here. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And it's been published. Now to make sure this updates, I'm going to log out and log back in. Not sure if this is necessary. Okay, and then I'm going to open up my lead. Then I'm going to scroll down to where the details are. Open that up. Should see some lead notes. Okay, and hit save. Now if I come back over to my leads area, refresh, you can see I've got the note that appears here. Within Acumatica Help, you can find additional information about MSDL. This requires some time to go through and figure out and read through it, but it will explain in more detail the summary that I just showed you.